It's open to the public, man. Don't worry about it. You're, you'll be fine. Just do your thing. No, nobody's gonna stop you or interfere, brother. Okay. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate what you guys are doing. I really do. How do the rules work then? No, as long as it's open to the public, meaning that you can put tape up, but you know what? Your qualified immunity will be gone. I'm not interfering with anything you're doing. Just go do it. You need to focus on your job right now. You're being distracted. There he is. Hey, everybody. It's James Freeman. Saturday, May 1st, 2021. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Myself and friendly neighborhood citizen are on our way to a call where allegedly there's a fight at a gas station. We're unsure what started the fight or exactly what's going on, but we're about 30 seconds away from the scene. As we arrive, we see multiple units in the area, but most of them are traveling away from the scene, which is up here just past the light on the left. Telling them which way, which way he went. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Yeah, we're going that way. Yeah. Is he still yelling? Yep. Get him. Right now we're down now. Yeah. 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 The victim is with the stolen vehicle already. And the stolen vehicle is unoccupied. The victim is five feet of his own vehicle. The police haven't found a suspect yet, so we circle back around to the initial location of the call to try to get more information for ourselves about what happened and what exactly the police are looking for. We don't even have a description. I guess I could have walked up to him and asked for it. If you hear about they got the suspect, just honk at me. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Good. Uh, uh, you know, do you know uh, what the guy looks like that they're looking for? Two chicks. Two girls? Two girls. <laughs> do you know what they look like? Oh, no, sorry, man. Uh, two girls? Two girls. Any description of them? Or? Um, so one's a, a really girly girl. She's in jeans and a t-shirt. And then uh, another one is like dressed like a dude with a black hat and uh, like baggy jeans and a t-shirt. Okay. All right. Cool, man. So they rolled up in your car? In my car. And you I were here? To be coming here. <laughs> yeah. And my homie pulled into the back of them and uh -huh. said, get out. And I hopped in. I probably shouldn't have done it. I said, hey, get man. out of my car. I said, get out of my car. Well, look, they haven't even found these girls yet. If you don't take care of your own stuff, they're not. I mean, they have good for you, man. To the car, but that's all right. I'm going to get it towed. Good. Good for you, man. Recovered your own stolen car. Right. Have a good one, man. Yeah. Uh, one of them was a girly girl, one of them was a manly manly girl. Uh, manly girls wearing a black hat, baggy clothes. There's two females running northbound on Arizona. Here we go. They're going straight. This one's throwing their fight at me or the females that were inside of the 277 10 board. Lights on. No. Yeah, I've got the subject here, uh, here on the southern stars, running westbound. 
Yeah, you know Arizona Southern North running westbound. I don't know, I didn't look. Okay, it's 29 Southern. Yeah, and Southern is the one we passed back there, yeah. You said westbound? 621 Arizona. 621 Arizona? Yeah, 621 Arizona. Got to walk yeah, in far. directions. If you want to that's uh, that's back there where the Sarge is at. Yeah, that's where they're saying they're running through the yard, I guess. Yeah, Bound past the alley. I think it might be the other alley. Yeah, I think so. Headed north. I think they're right in here. So the Sarge is saying to get somebody on the street corner to the right of me. That way the yeah, entire area is covered right so they can't leave this little area that they're in without an officer seeing them. There is someone there, but he's about to get distracted like the fool that he is. Cover your post! Cover your post! Cover your post! I attempt to correct the ADD child. It's open to the public, man. Don't worry about it. You're, you'll be fine. Just do your thing. No, nobody's going to stop you or interfere, brother. Okay. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate what you guys are doing. I really do. How do the rules work then? Do I need to put tape up or not? No, as long as it's open to the public, meaning that... I mean, that way, you, know, if you, know you can put tape up, but you know what? Your qualified immunity will be gone. I'm not interfering with anything you're doing. Just go do it. You need to focus on your job right now. No, you're being distracted. I'm no, I'm covering my post. Okay. Focus yeah. on your job, man. I understand what you're doing. Thank you for doing it. I mean, you got a victim over there, stolen car. Good for you. I appreciate what you're doing. Right, Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Just take care of your business. Okay. I won't interfere with anything you're doing. Okay. Okay, just... I'm just asking you to stay outside of the perimeter, that's all. There, there, no, there's no... Uh, so are you, have you, have you evacuated all the houses? I'm not PIO. You can talk if you haven't evacuated the houses, then you don't get to evacuate. If you're evacuating, you evacuate. If you're not, if it's open for people to be here, it's open for everyone to be here. Okay? <clears throat> I promise you, I'm not going to cause you any problems. Never harmed anybody. Just going to record. I appreciate what you're doing. Okay, man? All right. Based on the information that we have, we know that the suspects are somewhere in a yard between this alley and the street to the right of us. There are actually a very minimal amount of police officers in this area where the suspects are. Now was not the time for these two officers to act like idiots. They really need to be focused on looking for the suspects because we don't know whether they're going to try to stay hidden or jump out at any time. Should they choose to jump out and run again, these cops would have missed them because they're more focused on getting rid of the camera than catching the suspects.
Got these uh, mounted officers deployed quick. There he is. Got him. Mounted officer spotted him from up there. <laughs> Where did these dudes come from? I don't know, man. They deployed quick, man. <laughs> I, I don't know if they just... They're about 20 feet beyond that, so you're okay to make the corner. I don't know if they just patrol on these horses all the time, or... I've never seen them all before. Just come to the corner. Keep coming. Right there. Over. You can try and look out the kitchen window. Thank you. Right here. Right here? Yep, go right in there. See them over there? See? Uh, All right. The right. There you go. See? There you, okay, they're gone. Yeah, they're gone. All right. I appreciate Sorry. it. I'll cut out I'll cut out your house, I oh, promise. Yes, <laughs> All right. This is just another film or the no. movie. <laughs> no. This is for real. Huh? Yeah. They're having the suspects stand here so that the victim can do a drive-by and identify the suspects. Were you guys just out here? Happened to be out riding or what? Yeah. Okay. You patrol all day on the... Uh, yes, sir. Right on. We were wondering how you... I mean, we're like, did they pull in some trailers and some horses that quick? Or? No, no. <laughs> we're, not, we're fast, we're not that fast. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Oh, 
Been working hard, she's hungry. <laughs> Hey, see, that wasn't so bad, right? I just, look, I understand you're, you're recording them and all that. You're in your right. I just wanted you outside of the perimeter because we don't know. We don't know if they're armed. We don't know anything. That's the we thing. You the you know? If you got a second, I can explain it to you. No, I understand. I've okay. seen videos. I know what you do. I'm, I'm actually not against it. I, you know, make, the, make society aware of what we do. I like it, okay? The only thing is we just want to try and keep you guys safe as well. Yeah, the, the thing is, though, you don't have an obligation to do that. You don't have a legal obligation to do it. Not only that, but I mean, you're you're honestly going to probably get yourself in trouble if you try to do it. Does that make sense? Well, and and the reason why I put on a badge every day is because I want to try and keep the community safe. Yeah, part of the community. I well, that's I, I get that, and I appreciate it. I really do. That that you're. I'm sure you're a good guy. You're trying to do what's right, but you have no legal obligation to protect me. I have an obligation to protect myself. So I'm the one who gets to decide. You know, as far as safety goes where I'm gonna stand and where I'm not. Now, if you've got a crime scene where you've got like dead bodies and bullet you know, casings that you need to preserve, that's when you bring out tape. And, and it's not just the camera that's ejected from the scene, it's everybody, right? Because you don't want anybody messing with that scene before the, the investigators get there, right? And so that's, that's the only reason you have to really eject from someone from a, a scene, so. Again, I understand where you come from. I'm just trying to help you guys out, because I... I obligation, but... All right, just don't try to keep me safe, okay? All right. B just between you and me. You can keep everybody else safe, all right? all right? All right, I appreciate it, man. Have a good day. What I'm trying to explain to this guy that he's just not getting, maybe I'm not explaining it properly, he has no legal or lawful obligation to keep me safe. He does, however, have a legal and lawful obligation not to violate my right to record. Therefore, by violating my right to record while claiming that it's for my safety, he opens himself up for a lawsuit. 